Chapter 20 I may not have unraveled the mystery of why I was here, but I had find someone I could trust and bless, and Freddy. I began to have some confidence I could unpack the whole experience with their help, and I tried to remember what they said, and more and more to accept the circumstances of my life. They would share with me whatever they could, and show me how to live. Our associations had to be purified. End of story. There was no other way. The violence was a byproduct of a corrupt social fabric within which we all were woven. The fabric was tearing apart at the seams. This was not unnatural. We were here to help along the systemics into a new and more honest era. Like the philosopher Ken Wilber said, the pioneer is the guy with all the arrows in his back. The best of us had a heart that beat out a repatterning of life that made them naturally bristle. We were rejects to them. They were repulsed. But secretly, they wanted what we had. For who wouldn't want to walk through life less cautiously, less scared of their own shadow? We had a live free or die consciousness and a mad madness of energy about us that could hijack a lower level aura and make a misfit out of an angel. And the quality of life was good, for it left the past behind and the future ahead and was an unsensational, momentary DIY kind of issue the world really needed. I believed. Outside of the violent necessities, we brought a fresh take on a stale atmospheric, and there was no stopping us.